Hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah, I'm about I'm on my lunch, and I'm about 24 minutes away from going back. I'll explain that in a little bit in another video if I have time. But I thought I'd take this time to kind of talk about something that Mixed Fan 8643 talked about. I guess he was in one of his moods, you know, just like you know, just like a pissed mood. You know, I, I honestly nowadays with the way things are going around here, I don't blame people for being pissed off. I just don't have anything to you know, let their person out, let their own feelings out on. But he wanted to talk about what he had discovered over at the Bubble King. What, well not potentially, but what would have been the story arcs for the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book had Ken Penders stayed on. Basically with the stories and the direction Ken would have taken uh, the comic in. And, you know, quite honestly no one could really blame a mixed fan for feeling like this. I mean... To provide, um, I'll try to provide a, uh, a, a, a list, basically, of what would have been, well not a list, but I'll provide the link of what, of what uh, Mix fans talking about. And, you know, some might say, uh, you know, as crazy as it may sound to a lot of people, some may say that some of the stories that Ken was thinking of might have had potential. And Mix Fan does mention this about some. Like, some did have, um, the premise had potential, but the way it was going to be executed did not favor it. You know, you know, just things like that. really he takes an issue with when it comes to the when it comes to what would have been the issues of Sonic the Hedgehog had Ken Penda stayed on what I think he takes an issue with is the fact that Penders was going to wait 25 issues to have the bunny and Antoine wedding. Now, some potential, now some, believe it or not, think, now I've read this elsewhere, and I'm sure Mix Fan has read this. Some actually think that would have been a good idea. I mean, we all know that comic books out there from Marvel and DC, even Image, have all done comic, have all done anniversary issues that revolve around a, a wedding taking place. A wedding that was a long time coming. And for Ken Penders, his plan basically was to around the mid-170 issues, about 175, 176, have Antoine finally propose to Bunny and then build it up, if you will, to a 200th issue, which would have been the wedding issue. Now, when one looks at it, one might, one might tend to agree with Ken's motives here. That, you know, hey, it's, a, it's the 200th issue. It's going to be a wedding issue. And they've been around, they've been together basically as a couple with the exception of the whole uh, patch, evil Antoine uh, deception. Some might say that, hey, they, they've been a couple for you know, a long time, you know, way over a hundred issues, and that by the time we get to 200, I think it would have been, uh, I think maybe a hundred fifty-three issues altogether, except for the issues uh, that they were a part in, 
and uh, uh, again, you know, you know, some might tend to agree with Ken on, on his idea, on his motive to to want to do that, and kind of make 200 a very special, memorable issue. You know, not just you know, not something that we got from Ian Flynn, because I'm not going to deny Ian Flynn gave us a good one. You know, Ian Flynn did. He gave us a good one. I liked it. And in a sense, it set up the Iron Dominion, which people have a um, mixed reaction about, me being one of them. Uh, but, you know, Ken probably was looking at it, not to try to defend the guy, but one would assume Ken was looking at it from a comic book writer's perspective. Like, look what all these wedding issues... Look around the times they were done. They were done near anniversaries or at anniversary issues or on during anniversary issues. So basically, he probably thought you had some of these special events happening on, in anniversary issues, during anniversary issues, around them, after them. That why not do something like this in an, why not do this wedding in an anniversary issue? See what I'm saying? Now, now some might agree with that, but then again, some may not. I look at it this way. The way I look at it is like this. Sure, some people can complain and say that Bunny and Antoine's wedding was rushed from 174, uh, I believe, where he proposed to her. Well, not 174, but 173, where he proposed to her, to 174, where the wedding took place. Some might say that was rushed. But then again, if you look at it from a story perspective, look at it from a story uh, perspective, it was not rushed. It was built up. You had him going through this difficult time where, you know... Bunny wasn't sure if Antoine still cared about her because it really wasn't Antoine that was around them. It was actually Patch, evil Antoine. So she wasn't sure. So it was kind of an up and down road. So from a story perspective and character perspective, especially you know, when you look at it from Ian Flynn's standpoint, whether you like the guy or not, uh, he basically said, hey, they're going to just do it now. This is going to get married. Hey, let's have them propose. And you know what? Let's just get the wedding out of the way now so that no way can any other problems happen. But with Ian Flynn, we've noticed that, yeah, this still could be problems. Even after they're married. I mean, you basically, even though it took time, you basically had Ian Flynn dedicate Tails' Sonic Universe uh, four-part story to them and their honeymoon. So, you know, to me, yeah, it may have seemed rushed just in the eyes of some, but I think it was worth it. I think, I think from a story's perspective, it was done correctly because in a real-life scenario, what, do you really want to wait any longer? Do you want to go through any other chance that you may not take that final step? You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, you know, to me, it's like, I, I, to me, I, I look at it as like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it depends on who, who uh, agree, who de agrees on whose depiction was better suited. Was Ken's better suited, or was it Ian's? You know, some will agree with Ian, with Ian going the direction he did. Some may agree with, uh, with, with Ken Penders, believe it or not, in the direction he wanted to go in. I mean, you take a look at some of the stories he wanted to do, and again, I'll provide the link so you guys can read what Mix Fan has to say about them. And some of them are just, you know, to him, it's just like, why? Why, why would Ken want to go in these directions? Even though the premise had promise, had some, even some of the premises to the stories had promise, the way it sounded that Ken wanted to execute them was... Not the best solution. Not the best idea. So, you know, to me, it's... To me, I think it's more along the lines of... Would it have been a good idea to execute it in this, in this concept? Or 
would have been better just to go in the direction that Ian did, you know. I mean, we have no idea what Ken would have done even after 200. That's that's the thing, had he stayed on. So, uh, but anyway, um, I look at it like this. It all depends on how you view it. Some might view it as, you know, Ken Penn is trying to follow that traditional comic book route and do a special event, a special story in an anniversary issue. Well, others might look at it, well, others will look at it from Ian's point, standpoint and say, hey, you know what, real life scenario, comic book or whatever, characters do not want to take any more chances, let's just get it done with, go in that direction. So, but to me, you know, I, I read what Mix fan had to say and, you know, there are, like I said, some of the stories that Ken came up with that seem kind of like a little out of, you know, that, you know, the premise sounds good, but the execution would have been not so good. And that some of the things would have just came out of left field. You know, just like for no reason. You know, like the Station Square story he wanted to do. The continuation of his version of Mobius years later. You know, things like that. The fact that he wanted to use nanites to basically disguise Sonic's father as his roboticized state and make him look more normal again. You know, things like that. So... Again, I'll provide the link down below, and you tell me what you think. Do you agree with some of what Mixed Fan had to say in some of these? Especially, especially when it led to what possibly would have been the 200th issue under Ken Pender's uh, watch. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. I'll talk to you.